Good day, fishing fans. We're looking at the Northeast U.S. conditions from Massachusetts to North Carolina. My name is Matthew Upton from Roffs. And today is Tuesday, August 27th, almost the end of August, which is crazy. However, a lot of good conditions. Um, some of the marlin bites are heating up. So we're looking at the sea surface temperature here. Greens and yellows and blues are your cooler water, oranges, reds, your warmer water. And the Gulf Stream notice is a little bit down, about 84 degrees now. Um, what is of note is this big dip it takes out east and up and around with a nice huge clockwise eddy here it looks like, counterclockwise eddy down here. But let's look closer to the canyons and see what's going on because there's some really interesting stuff that is gonna be good for a few more weeks into September, October, and even possibly November for people out east, way out east. So the Mid-Atlantic Tournament just got over. Congratulations to all of our clients and winners in that tournament. Uh, Virginia Beach uh, Billfish Tournament. There wasn't a whole lot of fish caught in that tournament as, as I heard, but it was some, some decent marlin action picking at them between Washington and Norfolk Canyon here. But let's keep an eye on a bunch of things. One is a clockwise eddy between Toms and Hudson that's going to be moving down to the southwest. This is also bringing some warmer water in, warmer bluer water in. And there is another clockwise eddy between Baltimore and Wilmington Canyon. Now there's been a really good white marlin bite over the weekend off of Baltimore Canyon. And I think that stuff might be filtering down into toward poor man's now. But it could be filtering in, inshore of Baltimore, north Baltimore and inshore. There's a nice edge here that we've been keeping an eye on. And also a really nice edge up further north, up toward inshore Toms, inshore Hudson, inshore Linden Cole. There's got to be tuna in this water here. Maybe even white marlin mahi, wahoo. But when you look further south, we see a couple eddies off of North Carolina. We see an eddy off of northeast of the point ways. But check this out. A big counterclockwise rotating eddy that's pushing the Gulf Stream further north toward the canyons again. Remember last year, about this time, that Gulf Stream started pushing up. I don't know if that's going to happen nearly as much as last year because this big bulge is way further east but we can take a look at some nice boundaries inshore even lots of eddies to note there's a counterclockwise eddy here off of south of norfolk canyon some rotation lots of rotation inshore some not a lot of nice boundaries inshore but let's look further east which is really exciting to us there is a clockwise eddy between Fishtails and Hudson, counterclockwise eddy south of Block. Looks like a bigger clockwise eddy further offshore here, but this is what you guys should be getting excited about out east. This big Gulf Stream warm core ring that continues to push westward and bringing with it some nice water. There's been a real nice white marlin bite, we understand, between Powell and Oceanographer Canyon lately. But look at this nice edge just south of George's Bank. If you guys can get out here, it's a counterclockwise eddy here, counterclockwise eddy out here. But this water is all filtering toward the west. Look at this push in the Great South Channel. There's 
this is good. This has got to be really good fishing, even for marlin, white marlin up in here. I know there's a white marlin bite way in shore south of Martha's Vineyard, Vineyard and Nantucket recently. But this water is high 70, 78, 79 degrees, 77 degrees, and pushing up and in now Atlantis uh, east. Yep, looks like west of Beach between Beach and Atlantis. And this is still, this is going to continue to move west. So this is exciting stuff. So when weather permits, there's still plenty of decent fishing out there, we think, for the next month or two. So hopefully no big storms interrupt this um, these conditions. So uh, let's see. Let's look at the ocean color chlorophyll data. And... Not real blue water in short, but some blended blue, nice clear water. As you can see, the signal from this huge clockwise eddy out east. A lot of blue water in shore. There's some water coming, greener water coming down, but cleaner water off uh, Washington, Norfolk, and South. Cleaner water now looks like Hudson to Toms and to Lindy, Linden Cole. This stuff's all pushing in also. Um, Gulf Stream, of course. And look at this. You can really see that signal of this push, this big bulge in the water of the Gulf Stream pushing all the way down. And there's another actually clockwise eddy perhaps right in this area. What's interesting. Um, look at those nice edges of green to blue water everywhere from over the northern can eastern canyons and even now hudson or south of hudson toms in the linden coal this water is going to be filtering in looks like down this eddy down south way off of norfolk it's going to filter in some some water in the washington norfolk canyon area uh, might want to stay out of this greener turbid water inshore off of jersey and maryland but you know, lots of cleaner water inshore down down south as well. So stay tuned to Ross. We'll do this again in two weeks for another month or so into October. And get a hold of us on our website or give us a call. And we will put you on the fish in the northeast here for another few months. Have a great week and weekend. Labor Day weekend's coming up. Get your orders in. Let's get out there and fish if the weather's good. All right. Adios.